Okay, so right now I will show you exactly how you can add a custom photo widget to the iPhone home screen. And now you've probably tried that before because you can hold down anywhere on the home screen and click on the plus icon in the upper left corner and you can find the basic photos widget. The problem with that, however, is that it doesn't really work the same way as you can imagine. Like you can add photos, but it will add some featured photos. And featured photos basically means that you don't have any control over which picture shows up. Or you get some albums, which you can quickly access, but not really a picture, which is going to stay there all the time. If you really want to do that, in this case, you will need to download a third-party app for that. Now, again, multiple options here. But some of the available ones include, for example, Widgetsmith. So Widgetsmith is a popular widget creating um, app which you can download so you can see that I have downloaded it before so let me just reinstall it like that and when I open up the app I have the option to customize certain widgets so for example I have the small medium large widgets for example I will begin with the small one and add a small widget like that and what I can do in here is to simply click on photo and I can choose from the photos like that. So let's say I will pick this iPhone to show up as a widget. So it's okay, I have some additional functions like I can move it around, perhaps zoom it in yeah, like that. And I'm gonna hit save like that. And when this is done, I should be able to come back to the home screen and add it add the widget to the home screen like that without any problem. So I'm just going to scroll down and find the widget Smith application like that. So here it is. I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to click on small image. Add to the home screen and once it is here, you can click on uh, click on it to edit it. So it flips over in this nice animation and choose the widget which I want. So it was the small number two widget in my case, the one that I customized. So when I come back, it is gonna be the picture of the iPhone. So it's nice, you can see that now I'm gonna have the picture as a widget on the home screen and it's just not going anywhere compared to the basic photos widget which is gonna change constantly. And as I say, Widget Smith is not the only app that does it, but just, you, you've probably noticed how simple that was. So if you like it, you can easily just download and install the app and use it as I, as I did in the video. So yeah, besides that, there are also some other widgets, uh, apps, like the color widgets, which allow you to do the same or aesthetic icons and basically many of them. But yeah, I'm showing you the one which I use and I know that works well. So this is going to be the wrap up for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the Foxtech YouTube channel, and also check out the Foxtech educational platform, which you can join for free and watch video editing courses, in-depth iPhone guides, and much more for free. So go ahead and join right now. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.